correctly spotted on the 25 yard line. First and 10, Matter. Testing one, two, one, two. All right, folks, welcome here to game two as we have the Mesquite Hill Knights. Got the Mesquite Hill Knights from El Paso versus the Hub City Matadors. Hub City Matadors have the ball. Get a run here of a. It's going to bring up second down. Second and about 15 here. Hub City has the ball. Both these teams are playing to get to advance here in a type of playoffs. Hub City's gonna take the snap. Two back, two backs in the in the backfield. Quarterback hands it off to number 24. Bounces to the outside. Turns the corner. Gonna pick up first down yardage and more. Only gonna say he stepped out of bounds. Three yards shy of the first down, or four yards shy of the first down. That's gonna bring up third and three. Got substitutions here for the Mesquite Hill Knights. Knights are in blue, Matters in black with green numbers. Knights are in blue with the green numbers. Quarterback, so the coach gets the Hub City Matador set up here. I tell you, Hub City's got a big running back number eight. That young man just broke a big game here to start the game off. Looks like they're going to snap it directly to him. Takes it, hands it off the end around, cuts it back inside. Boom! Big hit there. Ball comes loose. So Knights line up here. Got a one back. Oh no, two back set. Got a pro set there with a big package. Hands it off. Tries to bounce at the outside. The game is solely on on our Facebook Live. Has a little earlier of bringing it on the app, so it will be up video on demand later on to, to this evening, early tomorrow, as we upload everything. But the end of the weekend, all the games will be up video on demand on our app. Um, just search Fieldhouse Sports, Roku, Amazon, Fire Stick, iOS, and Android. So Knight's going to kick it off here to the Matadors. Big kickoff there. Goes off two Matadors. Picked up at the 27-yard line. Bounces it way, way back. Turns the corner. Goes out of bounds. Short gain there by the Knight, by the Matadors. The Matadors.
Hey man, we got some. All right, folks, we're back after the time out here. Fourth down for the Matadors. The crowd is raucous. You can hear the clanking, the stomping on the bleachers. This is a big play here for the Knights. They can get another stop here. They can definitely put some distance between them and the Matadors. Direct snap, quarterback bounces it, cuts it inside. He's going to get bottled up, brought down, no gain on the play. It's going to be first and ten here for the Knights. The Knights have definitely showed up to play here in this 7U matchup. So we got first and ten for the Knights here. This Knights was a Let's see, let's bring up the, the bracket here. And Got a whistle here, flag on the play. Not sure what the call was, but moved them back five yards. We got first and 15, probably a false start, it appears. Hands it off, running back bounces to the outside, breaks away. One man to beat, not going to catch him. He's going to be in for the score. Touchdown, Knights. Second time they scored off a turnover by the the Matadors. That's going to be number 11 with the touchdown, the big run, about 40 yards. So we got the Knights are going to go for two. The Knights are going for two here. Quarterback in the shotgun, two tailbacks. Hands it off. Doesn't get it. It's going to be 12 to 0. Mesquite Hill Knights up early on the Hub City Matadors. So Mesquite Hill Knights are the number two seed in this seven U bracket. And the uh Hub City came in as the number ten seed. Won against the Lubbock Raiders thirteen to six. Now sitting here in this second round playing against the number two seed Mesquite Hill Knights. And they're getting their money's worth right now.
Knights kick off. Hub City's gonna take the ball at the thirty at the thirty three yard line. I mean, first and ten from the Mesquite Hill on defense. Hub City takes it. Quarterback hands it off to the running back. Breaks off a tackle outside. Hits the outside. Going to get brought down by number 11 after a gain of about eight yards. It's going to bring up second and short here. It's going to be, they're going to say, okay, a gain of seven. It's going to be second and three. Big play there, big run, big pass. I'm sorry, my my nice play there by the Matadors. It's gonna bring up first and ten here. Ball on the 49, big game there. Quarterback takes the snap, drops back, bounces it outside. Turns the corner. Nice stiff arm there. One player to beat. Gets knocked out of bounds by the cornerback, number 24. Actually by the safety. After a huge game, it's going to bring up first down here from the 27-yard line. So we got first down here, Matador's on the drive. Quarterback takes a snap, hands it off to 24, gets bottled up and brought down immediately in the backfield. Loss of five yards, three yards. Loss of three yards there is going to bring up third down. Second down, I'm sorry. It's going to bring up second down. That's the end of the quarter. Score after the first quarter, 12-0, Mesquite Hill Knights over the Hub City Matadors. We'll be back right after this. How was, how was that transition going from middle school to high school and playing varsity basketball? Um, it was a lot. It was like really different than middle school because in middle school I kind of like had to do everything. Mm -hmm. And then when I got to high school, like there was like other people around who knew what they were doing and they were pretty good. So I kind of just got to like take a step back and just watch for a little bit and learn from the older girls. Mm -hmm. So you went from being the big fish to yeah, just being in the pond, huh? Yeah.
We are back to the action here. Mesquite Hill Knights with the ball. No, I'm sorry. My apologies. Hub City Matadors with the ball. Second down, second and 14 as we flip the field. Quarterback hands it off. Number eight bounces it to the outside, runs over the fender, cuts it back, gets brought down after a huge gain there of about 20 yards. R tough running there by the running back. He was not, he was running with no good intentions at all, running over people, folks. It's going to bring up a first and, I think we got a first and goal here. First and goal for the Matadors from the 10 yard line. He's second down here. So the Matadors line up. Quarterback in the shotgun. He hands it off to the number 24. Bounces it to the outside. It's going to get brought down after a short gain. And it's going to bring up third down here. We got third down for the Matadors. Third and goal here. Matadors take it. Quarterback keeper. Bootleg to the outside. One man to beat. Brought down. Big hit there by number one. What a, it's a big hit by number 11 for Muskie Hill Knights. Quarterback looked to be shook up there. Flags on the play. Two flags. Let's see what the calls are. So we got holding on the offense. Holding on the offense. Both holding calls. Gonna move this ball back 10 yards with the illegal block in the back. And that will bring up third and long. Number eight takes the snap, rolls it out to the right, cuts back, it bounces to the outside, he loses one defender, runs over a second, gets brought down here at the 11-yard line after a gain of about eight yards. It's going to bring up fourth and goal for the Matadors.
Takes the snap, runs to his left, cuts back, bottled up, running backwards. Huge loss by the court by the running back there. As the Matadors just seem to be in disarray as Mesquite Hill Knights continue to pour it on with their defensive pressure. It's gonna bring up first down for the Knights from the 23 yard line. Knights hand it off, lose one defender, cuts back, goes through two, brought down after a gain of 19 yards. No, I'm sorry, 14, 15 yards. It's going to bring up first and 10. Got first down here for the Knights. One back set. End the round here. Turns the corner. That's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 25, 20. He's in for the touchdown. Huge run on the end around for the Knights, and the floodgates have opened up, folks. The Knights are going to go for two here. Up 18 to zero. Go for two here to try to make this a three score game. Hands it off. Keeper, he's going to be short. So we're going to get Knights come up. Score now 18 0. Muskeet Hill Knights over the Hub City Matadors. Got some good football going on here. A little lopsided right now. The Muskeet Hill Knights have continued to uh, pour it on. The Hub City Matadors up 18-0 in the second quarter. Knights kick off, short kick. That's going to be a flag. There is no ons there are no onside kicks allowed in Typha.
So as the Matadors get set up here, got first and 10 from the 46-yard line, down 18-0. Mesquite Hill Knights have really poured it on here. And it's still the first half. 429 left here in the second quarter. Quarterback hands it off to the running back. Tough yardage. Picked up maybe two yards on the run. It's going to bring up second and eight. big jump for you like yeah. what do you attribute to that I think for my freshman year I looked up to a lot of girls and then my sophomore year it was like I had to be the leader and it was different but I all right we're back after this injury timeout now Bottled up, up the middle. Short gain, if any at all. Actually lost two yards on the play. It's going to bring up third and nine. Takes the snap, takes it, bounces to the outside, gets bottled up. Four or five Knights on every stop now as the defense for the Knights is continuing to swarm here. Gonna bring up fourth and twelve for the Hub City Matadors. Quarterback throws it, the version of type of version of punting. The ball's gonna be downed at the thirty-two yard line. It's gonna bring up first and ten here for the Matadors. I'm sorry for the Knights to start another drive here with two minutes and seven seconds here in the first half as this Matador's running game has been stalled and the Knights running game has been in full force. Flag on the play. Looks like we might have an injury. See, there's a couple of injuries. Got two, two uh, Matadors down on the field. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.
So how, how the grades looking? Um, we talked about this earlier, but, but let's like very smart student athlete. Like I think the term student athlete really fits with you. Three point eight six GPA. Yes. She a nerd, y'all. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with that. I told her, embrace it. Embrace it. Because, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, the reality is academics, athletics, minimizing that cost for college. Knights take the snap, hands it off. It's gonna get brought down here. Short gain. We got first and or actually a loss on the play. One yard loss on the play. We got first and like twenty. First and long. Well, second and long. We got a timeout here on the field. We'll take a quick break. Getting back into it after COVID. Mm -hmm. Like, I just really, like, didn't do anything during COVID since everything was shut down. So mm -hmm. I didn't, like, get back into it. Okay. So how, how did COVID impact you as far as, you say, getting back into it? Like, what, what, what was like for you going through that? Um, just being at home a lot. Nothing was really open. I couldn't go to like the park or the gym. Mm -hmm. That's all. Knights take the ball, bounces to the outside, cuts back. You lose one more defender. Gets pushed out of bounds after a gain of about 10 yards is going to bring up third and nine, about nine and a half. We're going to say third and 10. Brings up third and 10 here for the Knights. Oh, no, third and 11. We got third and 11, 12, third and 12. <laughs> we got third and 12 here for the Knights. We've got time out by the Matadors. We're going to take a quick break, folks, and the action will be right back. It was a big jump for you. Like, yeah. what do you attribute to that? I think for my freshman year, I looked up to a lot of girls, and then my sophomore year, it was like, I had to be a leader and it was different, but I liked helping my teammates whenever they needed something. Mm -hmm. I liked, you know, giving them advice, teaching them how to just, you know, stay calm in whatever situation and just help them out whenever they needed. All right, folks, we're back to the action here. We got third down, third and 12 for the Mesquite Hill Knights, up 18 to zero over the Hub City Matadors. Quarterback takes the snap from under center, hands it off to tailback who shakes a tackle, gets bottled up by two more defenders, a loss of a couple of yards. We got a timeout on the field by the Matadors. It's going to bring up fourth down and 
long. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. So how competitive are you? Like, <laughs> like if I challenge you to a game of ping pong, do I got a chance to win? No, you don't have any chance to ping pong for sure. <laughs> me, and my, me and my family, we have Thanksgiving ping pong tournaments, Christmas ping pong tournaments. You chose the wrong sport. Right? <laughs> <laughs> pretty tight. Pretty tight. I got a yeah. mean backhand. All right, we'll have to see about that. Mean backhand, follow through. So... We are back to the action. Fourth down, fourth and long for the the Knights here. They punt it. Punt's gonna get recovered. Short throw. So we're gonna have first and ten here for the Mesquite Hill. I'm sorry for the Hub City Matadors. We got 42 seconds left. Matadors takes it. Quarterback fakes the handoff, bounces to his right, turns the corner. Stiff arm, still running, bounces off the tackler, drags him for about five more yards. It's going to be first and 10 from the seven yard line on a huge run there by number eight on the quarterback keeper. He's had some big runs here in this game, but the Knights' defense has been one of being but don't break. So number eight moves it back into the quarterback, direct snap, loses it. Got a flag on the play. Looks like it's probably going to be a false start. Going to move them back five yards. Got a false start here. First down and goal from the 19. Bottled up for a huge loss there. That swarming Knights defense again with the stop. So that's going to be the half. Mosquito Hill Knights up 18 to 0, folks. So we're going to give a special we're going to give you guys a special treat here as we've we started two new shows here on Howard Family Media Group on the Fieldhouse Sports Entertainment Network. So we're going to run you guys a cop we're going to run a previously recorded version of Breaking the Music, a new show that we have coming out for for uh artists to be recognized here. So we're going to cue that up. And get that going for you for halftime. Enjoy. And we will be back shortly. In about 10 minutes, I'm thinking. Enjoy. To be a great athlete, it takes great skill. But that's not the only thing it the reuse and reproduction of this content is not allowed without the express written consent of EBH Fitness, LLC.
morning, everybody. My name is DJ Lady Dubois. I'm your hostess of Breaking the Music. Today, we have on our show as a guest, Jatavis Fuse, Sergeant Fuse at that. So today, Sergeant Fuse, would you like me to call you that or? You can, I go by many titles. You can call me, you know, Sergeant Fuse. You can call me Fuse or you can just call me DJ Fuse, however, you know, however you feel comfortable. I accept all titles. All right, all right. So tell me, what brings you out here to El Paso? Oh, man. Um, you know, oddly enough, I actually got, I have family here. Mm -hmm. But that's not why I'm here, obviously. You know, uh, uh, America's, uh, the home of America's tank division. Got stationed out here about seven years ago, 2014. And, um, yeah, we, uh, we have been here ever since. Um, Oh yeah, I I was here actually in a uh, 2008. I did a WLC. That's all your uh, leadership course. It's now BLC now, basic leadership course or whatever. Um, I did that, and I remember telling myself, I never want to be stationed here. It's mountains. It's <laughs> nothing like the East Coast. Right. I mean, but you know, you know what they say. You want to make God laugh. Like, tell him your plans. Mm -hmm. So here I am. Kind of grows on you out here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It does. So, what brought you into the music scene? Because I hear about you all around here in El Paso. Wow. Uh, I'm going to just get right to it. All uh, right. He hails by the name of DJ J.D. Walker, lives down in uh, uh, Sebring, Florida now. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's my stepfather. Uh, not my biological dad, my stepfather. I love him dearly. Uh, he, he showed myself like he showed me everything that I feel today is missing from everybody that that wants to start like the first thing mm -hmm. you need to learn how to carry them crates you need to learn how to lug your equipment exactly. he never let me touch anything N <laughs> nothing he <laughs> like I couldn't touch a, a record nothing like uh, Grab, stretch your cords out. Right. Your quarter inch cords. Give me the longest one. The longest and the thickest one is going to our subs. I'm just like, oh, so these these young DJs today, yes, they are very good, but they're, they're not getting that. These are survival tools. You yes. see what I'm saying? At any given moment. Because, uh, you know, we've been in the game for a long time. And, oh, uh, yes. These are survival tools. So, you know, just seeing him work and, you know, seeing him um, having fun while providing for us. And I'm just like, yo, if you don't want to do this, then I don't know. You ain't living. You know what I'm saying? So right. it was just natural. And then, you know, I got, you know, my family, you know, musically inclined. I got a lot of singers and, you know, instrument, uh, instrument players. And, you know, I mean, it's just, it, the list goes on. So do you sing? Do you play instruments as well? Oh, no, nah, nah, no. No? Nah. No? You know what's, you know what's <laughs> crazy, though? Let me be honest. I'll say I can hold a note. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm a shower singer. It don't sound half bad. Right. But to get a mic and stand in front of people, nah. nah no. Nah, we're not going to do that one, nah, because I don't want to embarrass myself. It's just too many great singers out here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to jump in nobody else's lane. Right, but, right. Yeah. I totally understand that. So, now, when you're playing music, right, mm -hmm. does it take you to a specific place? Every you know? time. Every time. Every, I'm telling you, if... If you really just listen to a set that I do, mm -hmm. and uh, the best way I can break it down is just like how they would do, you know, back in the days, it was always called the get down. Right. And every portion of every song, there's always a portion that catch me if I like the song. Now, if I don't like it, I, and it's just top 40, and I'm, I, I'm playing for, you know, the entertainment of people, then I'll probably never catch, you know, the portion of that song that gets me. But um, just like... Uh, you know, for uh, for instance, um, like uh, I'll just go, you know, back in, just in my era. I can't go too far back. Right. I'll do a uh, children's story, Slick Rick. Right. That knock him out the park. Oh, come on! <laughs> I would literally, I could go back and forth just with that alone. Like I don't even need the rest of the song. Right. But that's just to get down for us, and it's just a place in time as to where whenever I hear that song, it always bring me back to when I was sitting on a little crate mm -hmm. and then just watching my stepdad, man, just do his thing and enjoy it, you know? Right, right. I mean, yeah. So what was the, um, let's see here, what was the first song that you ever played? Oh, MG, you ain't gonna believe this. This is outside of what you think. Like, most people be like, oh, he gonna hit him down with some, like, you uh -oh. know, old school hip hop. Believe it or not, believe it or not, when I actually started, like, really taking this thing serious and say, you know what, I'm gonna do something with music. 
-huh. I can't rap, can't sing, so I'm going to just blend and mix it and chop it up as best I can. Uh -huh. It was Erica Badu, her live album. Oh, my goodness. And that's a good album. It's it's a good, but you would just never think, like, dude, what are you doing? Like, mixing Erica Badu. First of all, Erica Badu is not to be mixed. Not that live. That live, you got to let that go. <laughs> so, yeah. I, and then uh, I was just, because my, uh, my stepfather, he had the vinyl. Right. And uh, at this point in time, he was letting me, like, all right, let me see where you're at. And he was teaching me how to place needles, you know. Mm -hmm. And I uh, never got to the beat matching portion just then. Right. But it was always, and it was that stay, and it's that get down. You know, mm -hmm. right there, I'm just like, bro, I need to, and I'm searching through trying to find things that blend with it. Man, I was all over the place. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Do you remember how long it took you to learn how to set the needles? Oh, my God. Because that's see. one of the hardest things, right? You know what's crazy? When I first, when, when my stepdad, he was showing me, mm -hmm. I never actually learned it. Okay. I learned later. Mm -hmm. I learned when I actually started, like, using MIDI controllers and stuff like that, and then, you know, I actually started making some money, and I can afford my own um turntables i bought uh the ones i use every now and then those uh pioneer 1000s right, right. bought those and um oh my god like the biggest thing for me mm -hmm. you know in our minds we say oh yeah i'm just gonna get these turntables and i'm gonna just go no, no. <laughs> it's just like that just like i was telling you like mm -hmm. I, I appreciate my stepfather for that for just showing me like the roads he was like mr miyagi you know? right you know take your jacket off Pick it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he he never got to that point to where he showed me how to set that freaking tone on him just to get to the needles. Mm -hmm. That tone on him got to be tight, and it's got to be tight. And it, you have to set it according to what type of DJ you are. If you're a scratch DJ, you're just a bland guy. Mm -hmm. You have to set it, and that was like real complicated. I ain't gonna lie, I gave up probably like twice, and then <laughs> I I say, you know what? I mean, you you I just feel like it'd be a it'd be a slap in the face to not gain that one skill. Right. You know, and just learn it. And once I learned it, um, my turntables are, I'm very, i let you get, you can have my Rain 12s. My mm -hmm. turntables, no. Because right. I'm attached to them because it took me so long to get them to, you know, conform to me. Right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be definitely one thing that, that's hard to get rid of. Mm -hmm. It's just like uh, when you go out to a competition and they say, hey, you can use this one. And you're kind of like, um, nah. no. Nah. <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather stick to my own, own we, thing. If so. you remember in the battle, I went out and got my, my other ones. I said, man, I just can't because I wish I had I had a moral compass. I say, man, should I just go with my turntables or should I just, you know, rock with the Rain 12s? And I ended up, uh, the first go around, I was on my own. All right, folks, we are back here for the second half. Mesquite Hill Knights lead 18-0 over the Hub City Matadors. Knights will be kick Knights will be receiving as the Matadors kick off for the start of the second half. It's been some big hits, a lot of action here. Let's see what the second half holds for us. Now the Matadors coming here as the number 10 seed, winning against the Longhorns from Lubbock to advance. The Knights are the number two seed here in Taifa, and they're showing it right now. So get the kick off here. Knights going to be down at the 32, maybe 33-yard line, 32 and a half. It's going to be first and 10 here for the Knights to start the second half. As far as All right, so the Knights have the ball here. Ooh, nice, nice push by that defensive line there from the Matadors. Gonna be a loss on the play. Brings up second and 14. That Matador front line, 
Got a nice push there. Knights have the ball, quarterback in shotgun. Um, under center, I'm sorry, takes the snap, hands it off, gets brought down immediately in the backfield. Huge loss of about four, five yards there. It's going to bring up third down here for the the Knights. Third and long. to end the round, up the middle, bounces to the outside after a juke move. One defender to beat, cuts it back, cuts it back again. He's off to the races here. Huge gain here by the Knights. Gets brought down at about the 12-yard line as he ran out of gas. Huge run, huge gain there. Number 24 for the Knights. We got a flag on the field. It's going to be against the Knights. It's going to push them back. That play is going to get negated, holding. We're going to repeat third down. We got third and huge, third in the mile here. The Knights take their time here. Takes the snap, hands it off, turns the corner, bounces it up the middle, gets brought down after the game of about five yards. It's going to bring up fourth down here. Matadors take it. Number eight turns the corner. Big collision there. Ball's going to be out of bounds on the 20-yard line at the nice return there by the Matadors. Bring up first and 10 from the 20. And the winner of this game will play again next week. It's going to be down at the 20, 24 yard, 23 yard line. 
short loss there. So we got offsides on the on the Matadors. It's gonna be five yards, gonna bring up first and five. Quarterback takes the snap out of the shotgun, turns, hands it off to the tailback. They're going to blow this play dead. Got a false start on the Matadors. So we got first and ten again. Matadors take the snap, hands it off to the tailback, number 24, bounces to the outside, gets the corner, hesitation, nice stutter step to get in for the touchdown, puts the Matadors on the board here. We got flags on the play. That play is going to come back as the Matador coach seems really upset, so it looks like against his team. Kind of losing composure out there. Yep, against the Matadors, holding. holding against the offense. That's going to bring that play back. Be first and... 20 here from the 30 yard line. So the Matadors have the ball at number eight at quarterback. Probably going to be a quarterback keeper here. Takes the handoff, bounces it out to his left on the end around. Stiff arm, breaks the tackle. Big hit on the sideline, goes out of bounds there. That's a nice gain of 11 yards. It's going to bring up second and nine here. Matadors have the ball here. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to number 24. Bounces it to the right. Hesitation. Breaks one tackle. Gets brought down. A big gain there. It's going to be first and goal for the Matadors from the six-yard line. They go for two, up the middle, brought down, no good. It's going to be 18-6 to six now. Mesquite Hill Knights over them, Hub City Matadors. Zero? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, folks. I got ahead of myself there. We got sec second and goal here. Fumble picked up here by number 24. Reverses field, gets brought down for a loss. 
It's going to bring up third and nine. Third and goal from the nine-yard line. And my apologies, folks. I got ahead of myself there. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to number eight, gets a block. Piled up by three or four nights. Short gain of about two yards. That's going to bring up fourth and goal here for the Matadors. Mesquite Knights still pitching a shutout here. Eight takes a snap, drops back to pass. No one's open. Gets brought down for a loss behind the line. There's there is a flag on the play. It's gonna be against the Knights. I mean, I'm sorry, against the Matadors. Holding against the Matadors, decline. First and ten for the Mesquite Hill Knights. The Knights have the ball here, first and 10 from the 10-yard line. Two minutes left in the third quarter. They hand it off, run up the middle. Nice cut back. He's off for the races. One man to beat, getting chased down. He's going to get brought down here. Nice tackle there. Touchdown saving tackle by the Matadors. After a 62-yard run from the Knights, it's going to bring up first and 10 from the 26-yard line. Knights take the handoff, fumbles it, scramble for the ball, turnover here as the Matadors create their first turnover, giving themselves a breath of life. It's going to be first and 10 here from the 29-yard line for the Matadors on that fumble exchange of a handoff.
tripped up on his own feet. Going to get brought down the backfield for a loss of four yards. Going to be second and 14 for the Matadors. We got third and 14 here for the Matadors after the turnover that they created. Bounces it to the outside. Gets brought down. That will end the third quarter with the score 18 to 0. Muskeet Hill Knights over the Hub City Matadors. We're going to take a quick break here and we'll be back to start the fourth quarter. So where are you ranked now? Uh, I'm the 21st player in ESPN, and I'm the third shooting guard in the country. I gotta stick these last two uh, two years out, and uh, hopefully continue to make history. I was like, hold up, this is something different. I don't know what happened, but he ain't trying to do everything on the floor now. That is the most important thing. It's just so with the trusting teammates. Also, is like. Uh, a great player cannot. All right, let's get back to the action here to start the fourth quarter. Matadors take the snap, drops back, throws it out into the flats. It's going to get immediately bombarded by Knight's loss here of about five to six yards. It's going to bring up fourth down here. Takes, drops back, throws the pass, incomplete. Turnover on down, on, on downs. The Knights will take the ball at the 30, at the 31 yard line to start the drive here in the fourth quarter, up by 18. Breaks it out to the outside, turns the corner, one player to beat, out of bounds. Huge gain there. First down yardage. It's going to bring up first and goal for the Knights from the 10 yard line.
Knights take it, rolls it out to their left. Race for the pylon, it's in for the touchdown. Number 11 for the Knights, scores on the end around. It's gonna bring up an extra point here as the Knights go up 24 to zero. They're going to go for two. The Knights are going to go for two here. Play blown dead here. So we got a player down, folks. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> The camps, for me, they went really well. I mean, it was great going out, seeing all the competition. Mm -hmm. A lot of real good players, good kids, a lot of good coaching, a lot of good things I learned. So one thing that came out of you came out on a rivals list, right? Yes, sir. So so tell us about that. Like, what did, what did you say? What did you feel when you saw that? I was a little bit, like, I kind of like, I knew that I was like, like I'm not trying to be cocky, but I knew I was kind of good. But when I saw that, I was like, Interesting. I was like, there's no way. Because it's like something that you don't like, just expect. Yeah. All right, folks, we are back to the action here. As the Matadors get set up to receive this kickoff from the Knights. Knights are set for the kickoff. Kickoff's away. Have a flag on the kickoff, probably all sides. Nice kickoff picked up here by the Matadors. Takes it to the right. Bounces to the outside. Cuts it back. Knocked out of bounds. Nice little gain. Return there. Got a false start on the Matador when on the Knights. what the Matadors decide to do here. They're going to push the Knights back. No, they're going to take the play, add it on at the end of the play. So we got first and 10 from the 39-yard line for the Matadors. Matadors takes the snap, hands it off. Number eight bounces to the outside, turns the corner, turns on the Jets. He's gone, folks. Finally breaks one loose for the Matadors. Number eight 
huge run there. Big run by number eight for Hub City. 61 Touchdown yards. Touchdown. 61 yard touchdown run with eight minutes left here in the fourth quarter. It's gonna make the score 24 to six. Hub City Matadors. Bring it within three scores. Matadors will prepare to go for two. The Matadors choose to go for two here. Matadors get set for the two-point conversion. Players in motion. Throws a pass. Incomplete. There is a flag on the play. Against the, that's gonna be against the Knights. Matadors get to replay this. False start here on the Matadors. Penalty against the offense. False start. So the Matadors have it again here from the five-yard line. Quarterback takes the snap, drops back, takes it up the gut, in for the score. Score is six to eight. 24 to eight. Oh man, I'm all messed up. 24 to eight, Mesquite Hill Knights over the Hub City Matadors. Hub City will elect to retain. Now the, the Matadors, the Matadors, the Matadors choose a type of specific rule of retaining to cut down on the possibility of injuries doing a kick, a onside kick, so they will have the ball here from the 40-yard line. And they will have one play to make 12 yards. If they can make these 12 yards, they retain the ball. If not, they turn it over, and the Knights will take over wherever the ball is spotted at. Quarterback takes the snap, fakes the handoff, turns the corner, gets brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Big play there by the Knights. It's going to be first and 10 from the 40, 
two yard uh, from the 38 yard line, 39 yard line. First and ten from the 39 yard line for the Mesquite Hill Knights. Knights take the snap, quarterback. Oh, fumble exchange there. Picked up, Knights retain the ball. Nice pressure, nice up front push by the Matadors. Almost forced a turnover there. Knights take the ball here, second and 15 from the 40, 44-yard line. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off. Going to get bottled up here. Short gain at best, two flags on the field. Got a face mask. Got a face mask here, 15 yards. It's going to be first down. First and 10 from the 30. From the 29 yard line. Knights take the snap, bounces it out, bottled up. Nice shake move there. Doesn't get free, stiff arm, still on his feet. Breaks another tackle, turns the corner, gets brought down. We're going to have second here and long for the Knights from the 36-yard line. Six oh four, six oh three, six minutes left here in the ballgame. Gets the end around, number 11, breaks it up. One play to beat. Nice open field tackle there by the Knights. It's going to bring up third down here. Third and three. Third and three. Quarterback gets around the corner. Nice open field tackle there by number 24 from the Matadors. A loss on the play.
We got a timeout on the field. We'll be take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> What are some of the things that you want a potential college, a potential college that's looking at you to know about you? I would say not to look at my size because a size doesn't matter. I mean, it's the heart that you have to put out there and what show what you can do. So not looking at my size and just seeing what I have to put on the plate. So we come out of the timeout here. Mesquite Hill Knights fourth down. Fourth and about seven. Oh, big loss there. He ran the wrong way. It's going to bring a turnover on downs. It's going to be the Matador's ball, 406 here. 24 8, Mesquite Hill, Hill, Mesquite Hill Knights over the Hub City Matadors. Matadors will have the ball first and 10 from the 37 yard line. Flag on the play, false start by the Matadors. Matadors take the snap. Not sure exactly. Fumble. Recovered by the Mad by the, the Knights. They're gonna get the ball to the Knights. It's gonna be first to 10 for the Knights from the 20, 27, 28 yard line. Turnover here by the Matadors. It's huge. It definitely puts this game out of reach for them now. Down 16 with 354 left in the ball game. They're going to need a miracle to come back. Looks like the Knights have punched their ticket to the next round in the type of playoffs. That'll give them a home game here in El Paso again. Knights take the handoff. Nice pressure there up front by the Matadors. Tackle for a loss. Number eight's been all over the field. That young man's been playing his heart out. Still playing here down by 16. Knights come out of the huddle. 
Get lined up, quarterback under center. Takes the snap, hands it off. Play's going to get blown dead. Blown dead. we got an injured player on the field. We're going to take a quick break, folks. We'll be right back. Well, I, I, I want to say I want to be at the top, and that's always the goal, but obviously there's a lot of parity in our district. I think a lot of people had great summers. You know, we did qualify for the state tournament, and those four teams that qualified are all in our district. So, you know, to go to, to compete every week is going to be the key. To be healthy is going to be every, you know, key every week. But I really like the chances of the two schools on the west side just because they, 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 they've got a lot of kids back and play really hard and sound fundamentally defensively especially. And then I like our chances along with Paul Eastwood. Pebble Hills with their trigger guys could be interesting as well. We are back to the action, folks. Now we got a timeout by the Mesquite Hill Knights. We'll be right back. Uh, the goals for the upcoming, or upcoming season, we usually have uh, every year. They don't really change. Number one goal is to win the North. Any kind of Northeast team that we play, uh, we want to have a level of success here. Um, then we move on to the pre-district and have a winning record going into the pre-district, pushing into our district play. Um, we have a four-team district, uh, so we've already made playoffs. So our, our ending goal is to, to push for a district championship and have momentum uh, going into the playoffs. All right, folks, we are back to the action here. Knights come out of the timeout. 2.50 on the clock. Second down. Take the snap. Hands it off. 24 breaks it back inside. There's another flag on the play. Knights take it back, drop back, quarterback rolls out in pursuit, fumbles, picked up by the Matadors. Quarterback seems a little shook up after that play. It's going to be first and 10 for the Matadors from the 40, 48 yard line, 224 left. Got some flags on the field. It's going to be against the night, the Matadors. Got first and fifteen. 
Matadors take the snap. Quarterback loses it. Falls on the ground. Got a scrum. I got a got a scrum here. Fight for the ball. It's gonna retain the Matadors will retain this ball. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to the running back. Picks up about two yards on the play. It's going to bring up fourth down here for the Matadors. You get back to the original, gets back to the line of scrimmage. build off of that um i don't know i just just teamwork you know like counting on each other making sure everybody's there for practice keeping each other accountable and just a team effort really and staying healthy right yes of course always i tell you you got a lot of peers that are either in your grade or grade ahead that have gotten knee injuries knee injuries mm -hmm. um and so you know a lot of that is because y'all play so much. Yeah. Y'all don't rest. Y'all don't let. So we are back to the action here.
referees trying to figure out something down on the field. Quarterback takes the snap, drops back the pass, throws it up, incomplete. It's going to be first and 10 for the Mesquite Hill Knights. 27 seconds left in the ball game, folks. The Knights have punched their ticket to the next round. That's the ball game, folks. We're going to run the clock out here. Mesquite Hill Knights will win this game final 24 to 8 over the must over the, the over the Hub City Matadors. Drew a blank there for a second. We got 5 4 3 2 1. That's the ball game, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back up game 3 here. Kickoff should be in about 10 minutes. The game will begin at 510. Thanks for tuning in. We're out.